All right, we're live. Um, who is here? This is That's just me. Yeah, there's nobody else. And it'll, what'll happen is later on, after you stop recording, Larry will upload it to YouTube so that okay. if anybody wants to watch it from the public, they can okay. do so at their leisure. I just thought I just figured there'd be somebody there. They shoot at the screen. Is there anybody waiting to comment? That's all. Is anybody here? Yeah, there's nobody there. Nobody there. All right. Well, let's uh, let's so start. This may this may speak to the, just the inability of people to get it. You know, I mean, if you haven't zoomed before, you know, you're, it's it can be confusing initially. Oh, sure. no, it's our leisure. Here we go. Just popped in. Oh, no. All right. We got one. All right, so we'll get it. I guess we're on the record. Yes, we are. Uh, for the record, I'm Gary Oberst. I will be the uh, your hearing officer today. To my right, representing the city of Norwalk, is John Hayducky. He's the deputy zoning inspector. And Steve uh, Slepian, what is your title? Planning and zoning director. Planning and zoning director, sorry. Okay, so we're going to do one matter at a time. This is being broadcast. I have no idea how well it's working. We'll find out afterwards whatever complaints we get. Uh, what happens the way we do this is the city presents its findings, then the uh, other side has their say, and then we see if we can work something out. If not, I make a decision. So we'll start with the case is 179 South Main Street. Okay. So uh, as a oh, sorry, and also if anyone wants to speak, we will give them an opportunity to speak through Zoom. Okay, so we have uh, as a form of housekeeping, we have uh, the notice for today's hearing uh, to the owner of record, um, Jose Seha, and we also have a constable delivery of that, and we also have the certified no green card. And today he has uh, his representation, Attorney Hall. This year. Attorney Hall, you have no objection to service? No, I am evidence of effective service. <laughs> <laughs> no objection. Okay. Uh, so this is um, a this is one from last week. I think it was February. On this, here is your previous decision form. Uh, basically, this is utilization of the property within a C residential zone for um, access to a contractor yard and operation of a contractor storage yard uh, within that zone. Okay, can I see some pictures? Sure. So remember what this is about. Sure, so here's, we have an aerial photo to see the area. This is the uh, property in question. This one they remember as the railroad right of way. Uh, that's, in, that's in question that's being utilized by the uh, property so owner as well. Violation in the boots. Right. And the other violation is also that they are utilizing this entrance here, which is in a residential zone, to access the former railroad right away. But if they could get in here, that would be okay. No, because the, res the C residential zone in Norwalk, you cannot transverse a residential zone to access industrial. So, what are they doing? This they is, do that right here. This is in violation because they're right. Street. And then here's the entrance to the property. Yeah. And this is all C residential zone. This parcel here is all industrial one. So they're utilizing well, this. We're going to fix this somehow. Well, that was the claim. Um, so what let me. What's the fix supposed to be? You've seen this. This is a photography. I'm familiar with the. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty tiny. When was that taken? Uh, 2016. Um, 2016? Yeah. yeah, I was just thinking that okay. the only way to do that is to pull up a browser. Okay. And then um, then pull up the image and then you share screen and show it that way. Um, and I don't know if you have, if you're going to show the photos, that's going to be a little harder. I can just walk up and hold them in front of the camera if you want. <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah, that's um, I mean, that, that's what I've done on my other meetings. So how do we go about Just that? Put up the ad, pull the address up. One, nine, okay. And 
So uh, maybe here. I don't know if I need to speak to you. No, 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 no. Let's go. No, no. So check. Or you could leave it there too. That's good yeah. So. So when you get it to the image you want, we'll do share screen and then you can. All right. Cool. All right. Here you go. Start there. Okay. So then. Right. Okay. So then go back to Zoom. Okay. Good. Close that. All right, then go to the bring the mouse down to the bottom. Oh, see, okay. see a share screen? You can yeah. Click that. <laughs> yeah, just not, you know, go to you click to the left of that. Oh, mouse. sorry, I thought that was off. Yeah. Then now double click on that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now okay. people who are watching can see what you're talking about. Awesome. Wow. Very nice. And right. then if you want to get out of it, you just hit stop share. There you go. All right, I got that. Threw <laughs> that out. Okay. All right, so can I have the? Uh, oh, sure. I'm trying to understand how we were solving. We're going to solve this problem. The ultimate solution, which I'm guessing hasn't occurred, or we wouldn't be here. It would be what? Well, they'd have to remove all the contractor equipment and activity from this area here, okay. and then cease utilizing this entrance as an access point to the okay. uh, 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 to the rail right away. And how would they, if they cease using that, how are they going to get into wherever they have to go? Well, they would, I mean, they wouldn't have to just stop using the access here. There's nothing wrong. They could, this is a legal driveway to the house here, so it's perfectly acceptable, but then there would have to be some sort of prohibitive uh, barrier to getting to the other side. That's the only feasible way to do that. Okay. At this point. All right. So where are we? Well, let me see what I said yeah. last time. Yeah, yeah, that's probably good. Uh, despite heroic efforts <laughs> to resolve the title issue, well, five thousand dollars is not perfect. Seems like we were trying to put make this happen. Right. The I just wanted to um, run a present the uh, I have some photos here from an inspection I did thorough inspections that I've done uh, at the property, um, and this one here is from uh, first of all sorry this is it's from June 11, and basically this photo these photos here I'm not going to go through every single one but I'll. Uh, so this photo here is at the entrance of the property. It's looking, still using it. Looking right. that right. That's the question. Is it, right. is, oh yeah. Are the vehicles still here? Uh, I'll give you a much more recent photo. Yes. Yes, we are. So that is from I believe Monday. I want to say the twenty fourth, and that is back in here. Okay, so for the record, these photos, because they're not going to show very well. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Showing that the um, vehicles are still parked where they shouldn't be. And we have evidence that they're still using the driveway that they shouldn't be using. Attorney Hawes, did these photos show that? As far as you know. Oh, or are we checking them in some manner? <laughs> These are the ones from June 11th. Thanks. And these are all from June. Oh, okay. those, those are from oh, 24. Right. Correct. Yeah, and I'm thinking next next time. Yeah. Probably upload the pictures into a folder or something so we can just screen share. The sure, screen share and all that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. We'll figure yeah. that out for next time. All right. It's our first time. Okay. Um, do you want me to comment on these now, or do you want me to wait until it's my turn? No, let's wait and see okay. what John has to say. Because, so, I mean, I just I have an objection to it. No, no, they can come in. As, as, um, so basically, the issue here is that the property in the city residential zone, still residential zone, still houses and being with the storage of contract equipment, vehicles, and. Um, and an operation of contractors yard out of the site. So the city is looking for that obviously that the 
Um, so I was looking for the fine, the, the fine to be increased and also to uh, get a, a plan of resolution that would actually res resolve the violation. Okay. Okay, is there any follow up to you, I guess? So um, let me just address a couple of things. So the, the according to my client, and I think John doesn't dispute this, after the last hearing, he um, made a diligent attempt to, to clear out the lot um, of vehicles and other stuff. And I think these pictures actually depict, in a lot of ways, an empty lot, um, and also in a lot of ways, an overgrown, an overgrown lot. Um, the, the pictures depict uh, some cobblestones um, in a pile um, and, a, and, a tra and a trailer parked on the lot. But those are the only two things, and the cobblestone and the trailer, um, from what from what I can tell. Um, so, so I, I think, and 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 John, I think also confirms the fact that the cobblestones just arrived. So, according to my client, he uh, he made a diligent effort to clear the lot, clear the lot. I think the pictures actually depict that. I'm sorry if I screwed them up for you, John. There. Um, so you know you can you can see empty lot, empty lot, uh, vegetation, uh, lot with one vehicle on it. Um, but these these are really the only the only two immobile contract and yard kind of things. Although the obviously the, the truck is a contract and yard kind of thing too. And he shows the you know the pictures of the trucks going in and out. Um, but that just, could just be his dually. He has a, a massive truck. Um, so anyway, I think I think he made a diligent effort. He uh, he we did close on the. Uh, on the purchase, so the so the idea was we were going to buy the property. We had title issues. We closed on it last week. We're going to buy which property? The, the property behind the railroad property. Oh. So by buying the railroad property, um, as as John indicated last time, this entrance you can extend down here and actually enter through the through the industrial zone, not through the residential zone. Um, it doesn't make it a contract yard. Contract yard just because he now owns it. What he would have to do is apply to get, you know, to get approved as a contractor's yard if he wanted to continue using it on this in that way. And obviously, he can't apply now because there's a moratorium in effect against contractor yards. So my my point is, you know, I think this was in October violation um, yeah. initially in October of 2019. He had wind of this from John. I mean, I, 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 I give the uh, planning zoning department due credit and zoning enforcement due credit because they do give people ample time to, you know, to try to resolve it before they actually send them an official notice of a violation. And so when Jose got that notice, um, he went to contract to buy this property to try to, to, try to cure the defect. Um, as your honor knows, um, you know, that, that contract didn't happen. And, and it was, it was my fault, I guess, for over lawyering it. I, I saw a lot of title issues. Ultimately we decided to close with that railroad company. Anyway, we, uh, we tried to do it with another railroad company. It just wasn't working out anywhere, but he had to resolve the situation. It cost him $48,000 to, to come back in and buy the, the property, you know, the second time around. So he paid a significant penalty for the fact that we didn't close last July or August when we were supposed to close, but we closed a year later, the uh, the seller uh, punished him for that. And again, you know, I, I believe I believe I was correct. You said but, you, you actually closed them. Yeah, I gave you a copy of the deed and the conveyance tax. We haven't recorded it yet because you have to mail it in. But I wanted to have the original just in case you want to look at the originals. I haven't mailed it to uh, Norwalk or stuck it in their drop Dropbox yet. So, you know, we closed, we owned the property, we would, you know, under normal circumstances, immediately apply for approval as a contractor's yard. That would take us out of the violations hearing kind of thing, the way they, they have done it in the past. I don't think that's necessarily the, the case, but that's the way the planning and zoning has treated these kind of things in the past. And, and we kind of be working on that front. We can't do that now until next May. So, you know, obviously he can't, he has to continue working around this problem until he can apply to get approval 
of the property as a contractor's yard. But just for the purposes, and, I, and it's difficult. Let me you know, understand. It's, Once you've got the approval and all that, what happens to this space here where it's being used as access? If he gets if he gets approval as a contractor's yard, he has a legal right to use the property the way he's been using it. He just has to, I mean, he's gonna have to approve it. He's gonna have to put up, okay, you know. Just let me turn around. It's a special permit. It's the case he gets. No, this parcel, no, he would have to, you know, right. the only way you do that would be his own change. Cause it's a C resident. Right, I'm sorry. Yes, I forgot so the internet. This parcel stuff. highlighted here in blue, so this that has a, to be free This, this is our problem. Right, this down here, look, it, it's not on, it's on the violation in front of us. It's, it's part of a, the, Side story does the not, in front of us is the access and the use, the use of the yard as a resident. Basically, should not be using this yard, this area. Correct. Either area. Either area. The, area the whole railroad parcel. But we're not using it. Well, that's not well, It's being used now. The, the parcel in front of us right now is. That's not an issue that right. I'm come to Correct. address today. So I got this issue here two violations uh, and. You're acknowledging they're still being violated. Well, only to the extent that yeah, I, only I to pointed extent. out, and, and and I think a lot of a lot of these hearings have to do with, you know, whether or not the the um, violator, for lack of a better term, is taking appropriate steps to try to resolve the issue. Well, why is the truck still there? Well, first of all, I, I I I do have a survey showing that that's on the railroad land, but that's that's I mean, if if, if John wants to characterize that as the side story, that's fine. But that is a side story then. That's not the parcel we're talking about today. So this what- This parcel here- has not, Does not have that truck on it. What's on this parcel? Well, I mean, to me, it, it's any of the, it, it, to me, I don't know where the boundary is of this. I mean, you have a survey there, but I have nothing there to show well, me Have you taken where... photographs of- Yeah, I got plenty. Oh yeah, I got those. In this parcel, you're yeah. saying you're not in a parcel. Yeah, there are my staff here. No, I don't know where they went. We seem to have um, a disagreement as to whether there is a violation of vehicles in the parcel that they're not supposed to be in, turning all of indicating, oh no, that's outside the parcel. But right. and I the know, only thing you're acknowledging is this load of bricks. And the and the cart might maybe in the parcel too. I just can't tell because it's in a bunch of weeds. This right. That was that was immediately taking us like right on the But this is not a big deal to move. This, this could easily have been out of here. Right, and and by the way, that those those bricks, he got a job that was those bricks were supposed to be delivered to, and because of issues on the on the person who hired him, he bought the the pavers, but they couldn't be delivered to the house. The job was canceled, so he had no nothing else to do with them. I mean, he he, he bought them, he couldn't not. That's the same as saying, well, he decided to put them in my backyard. <laughs> And it was, yeah, no, they're not allowed to be there. My my only point is he's not he's not this is not an egregious violation where the guy is just not doing anything to try to resolve it. He cleaned it, he's bought the property next door, he would apply for a uh, you know for a change in zone and to for, and to have that whole thing classified as a uh, contractor's yard. But there's just to point out, there's no guarantee that that property is going to be industrial one zone for a year from now. That could get reasonable. We're doing a study of that, so we may say that shouldn't be industrial. I know, and that's a risk he took. I mean, he took a risk that they, I know he he closed on that during the moratorium with the with the knowledge that that's, that's that a he, businessman he makes his decision. No, I know. I'm just saying he might if if they decide not to have any more contractors' yards in in town or that's not an appropriate place, then he's out six hundred and forty that forty eight that or six hundred eighty thousand dollars. If I may, I'll also put in other photos from. Um, you know, pass these down from uh, 13th of August, where there are other contractor implements like a uh, we have dumpsters, trailers, trucks. That 13th, this is so this is like two weeks ago, we right? Did. Correct. This is all on the property. You have a, have a show them to turn. Sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, John already closed his freedom basically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> yeah, I don't know about these. Um, but the ones any, anything close to the fence, obviously, is, is, is it yeah. right, exactly. And then closer to the house, which is the second picture, has the <laughs> equipment and it looks like a large grower and just oh you know, right there. And that's that's towards the here's the house here. 
this whole detached struggle uh, shit. I think had we not had the hiatus, had we not had the um, moratorium, we probably would have got this thing closed, got in, got the application in, and none of this, we wouldn't even be sitting here today. But the COVID thing, between the COVID thing, the title thing, and the moratorium, this guy has been placed in a difficult situation, and he's worked very hard to resolve it. And so, I, I mean, like I said, he's already paid a lot of money. You know, we've got to pay a little more just to get a few trucks out of the way and this load of bricks. I mean, man is risking six hundred thousand dollars. We can't find a place for. I, guess, I think it was four eighty. Uh, Whatever the numbers were, it was a lot more than. Yes. They could have said, "Keep the bricks. I don't want them. I'll buy them again later." You can't just dump bricks on a property. I know. Any more than you can leave the trucks. So you've got to find another place. I want them out of there while this is going on. I acknowledge all these issues, but I'm not seeing anything that. The people who are living here are living with this problem, and that's not getting solved. They came cleaned it out and said, okay, I can't, you know. He, he did, to a large extent. Yeah, I think John, will, a I think John will acknowledge that. But. I'm acknowledging he cleaned it to a large extent, but there's a lot of months have gone by. Right. This was stuck in February. We're in so August. Yeah. It's not like he came so back in a month and said, I go to the world now. and said, I. I got almost everything, but I still, you know, you got what six months and it's still not cleaned out. I'm not, I'm not, we I'm not buying it. We do have some participants. Oh, good. What the so let me do this here. Yeah, all you should have to do is you might just have to click on them. Okay. And then hit allow to talk. And then they should let you talk. Uh, Darlene, you there? I'm oh. here. She may oh, be um, muted. Sometimes you have to unmute. Can you can you can you, can you hear me? Microphone. It's the microphone. No, it says up there to mute, so she's obviously not. Unmuted. Oh, there we go. Okay. What? Oh, you won't. Let me see. Can you hear me? Is this on volume? Yeah, that's that's pretty frank. Um, <laughs> ask her again. She may not hear you. Darlene, you there? Hello. No. Hello. Uh, Hello. She says mute right there. She's also. muted now. See when it's red, that's mute. Right. If it's not ready. Yeah, I think you I think you muted her. Look, All right, I'm, I'm on. Just don't click. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello? Is oh, the Okay. Is Hello? The, is here. the volume on the monitor on? Of yeah. the smart board? Um that's an extremely good question. It's never not been on. Um hmm. Hello? I didn't Hello? Uh, let me just double check here. Let me do Hello. We're going to have technical difficulties. Okay. Let's do can Darlene wave at us and let us know that she can hear us? Darlene, can you hear us now? I can hear you. She's talking, so you can hear us, but we can't hear her. Yeah, I right. can hear microphone you. moves up and down. Like right, she's talking. yeah. So does she have to click on her end to turn the microphone? No, it's 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 we on. Have a speaker on at our end. No, we've used it before. Yeah. Let's try. I think that that's it. This is our. No, uh, that's speaker headphones. So that shouldn't be it. It should be the. If that the bottom one is the, is the screen, right? There we go. Yeah. Hello. So, no, no, Hello. 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 Uh, yeah, I could, here. I could try going in and calling from my phone. To see Hello. And or our end. That's good. Darlene Young, can you hear us? I can hear you. I think she can hear us. Because she's talking back right there. You, you, I can you hear you. Talking. I can hear you. I just can't hear her. Is there any way to click on that microphone up there to make it do something more than she? No, it's, it, it'll have the red slash if she's muted. Oh, okay. And if she's not muted, she can talk. Right. Brian, John, see if you can um, click on the just once on Darlene's name and then see the more button. Okay. Said pr promote the panelist. Darlene, you there? I don't know if that would do anything or not. Oh, careful, just don't. I'm just going. Yeah, click on the panelist one again. Okay. Now unmute her. Can you hear me? Okay, she might be unmuted now. No, you're in. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, she's talking, but we're not hearing. We're not hearing her, right? Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna try. I give one. Let's give it all a shot. Let's see what happens. Do you want to try to reach down the cell phone and then put her on here? Let's see. She's gonna give it a shot here. I'm gonna call. Try to call and see if it's her or, or me. Okay. 
Are you there? Why don't we just have a yep. this phone call? I'm here. I got the band of what we're going here, but trial and error. No, I understand. Runner. Um, Somebody wants to actually <laughs> participate. We should try everything we can to do that. Oh, uh, let's see. At least we're not getting bombed, Zoom bombed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a big party here or anything like that. Uh, can the second person talk? Is there a second? That, he, that one's coming in on a phone. So I don't. Do you want to try to get Steve's, them? Steve's going to try. Walk me for that try one. them. Um, uh, let's see. Come on. Yeah, this is all. Oh, good. I think. I think we're hearing it. I think she's hearing us, but not. Uh, is but I can hear you. Through. Has Darlene testified at these hearings before? I think so. Yeah. At least at some point. Yeah. Yeah, she has. Um, see, it's picking us up because you see our microphones going up and down. Yeah. Wonky there, so it's definitely picking us up. Yep. Um, hmm. Let's see. This is uh, this is a uh, trial and error here. No, I don't want to go live. That's for sure. Uh, da, 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 da. So much room on smooth, right? Yeah, that's the first shot. I should have Jose call yeah. pretending to be there. I should be. Oh, you're on attendee? Okay, we're over there. Thank you. It's me. Oh, Hi, darling. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. Hi. I can hear a little bit. Can you hear me now? It's her microphone. Can you yeah, turn it up at your end? I think it's your microphone. I'm turning it up as loud as I can. Can you hear me? She's got one of these cruddy. Oh, it could be, yeah. Same thing as me. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, she could let her go. Is she going to be on the record or because does she have to be heard through the microphone? No, because it's getting recorded to YouTube mm -hmm. directly. So I don't think it goes from the microphone. Okay. I don't no. think so, but we'll find out. We'll okay. find out. Yeah. Uh, Darlene, we're going to be yeah. uh, very quiet because it's, uh, you're having a hard time coming through there, but okay. go ahead. We can still hear you a little bit. Okay, so I can shout. Is that better? I'll talk as loud no, as I can. Can't hear oh, you now I can hear it all, Darlene. <laughs> really? Oh, gosh. I'm trying. Can you hear me now? I can hear her fine. In there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing your computer. So she's going there. Maybe you can hear me. Computer in here. <laughs> Hang in there, Darlene. We're working on okay. it. Okay. I can hear her for sure. I can't hear her on here. Let me crank it up. Hold on. One second. Yeah. We, we may have a solution, Darlene. We may have a solution. Okay. <laughs> it's our first time, Darlene. Reverse. Work with us. I get it. I get it. <laughs> there we go. I can hear myself now. I can hear the feedback. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can hear yourself coming in from the other room. <laughs> Okay, darling, go for it. We'll be quiet and okay. turn the turn the All volume right. off on this. Is that better? Is that better? No, it was. She... You can move ahead. Don't get back. A lot of feedback. You want to put the microphone going in his room? No, uh, I think we can get it. I think it's it's all the way in here. We just move the microphone into his doorway. I, I'm worried it's just gonna be feedback. That's it. Darlene, can you talk for a second? Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me? Try the middle one, maybe. No. No. I think it's this one here. I don't know why it's not. Is it something with the Zoom age just not on? Uh, no, no, no. 
Yeah. I don't have an answer for this one. Can you move your speakers from your room to the doorway? <laughs> That's just on my phone. Can you bring your phone in? We will, but we're here with we'll feedback. Yeah. Echo. So you just going to stand in your you office? And let it, Are talk? you on the call? That if we actually have to, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's do that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You sh are you on? Are you looking at that? She's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's tricky if anybody else is watching. We're all in there. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let me this see. This the purpose of the public participation. Okay. Um, okay. What if it put the sound on the, um, like on the sound panel? Darlene, do you want to call yes. my cell phone or we'll put you on? Okay, um, and actually Ernie Dumas was the phone call, but he was, he's been muted. Do you see a phone call, a phone number? Near her microphone, we can hear her. You wanna call me? That, that's fine. What's your number? It's 203-803-9706. Nine seven zero six. And Ernie Dumas, can you hear me at all? And all you people in TV land, don't take that as a, you know, yeah, just give you, can, <laughs> you can call me on my cell phone. Yeah, she probably could have called the speakerphone here. I'll probably come back. Oh, that'd be good. That's a better way. Speakerphone? You want to do that, darling? Yeah, darling, yeah be let's do that. Why don't you call, I don't know if you're, it sounds looks like you're at home. Um, yep. 854. 54. 7298. Okay. We'll we'll work on this for next week. Um, we'll figure it out. Is the ring around? Yeah, it should be. What's your number? Here. Got it. Okay. Was it just ringing? No, it was just. Hi, Darlene. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm going to mute this so I don't get so much feedback. There we go. Okay. Um, and, and Ernie Dumas um, was on the call as well. So he, he'll probably be calling in too. Yeah, I'm trying to. If he wants to, t I think he just called. So after he's done talking, we'll he'll have to call back and we'll let him go. If that's okay. Okay. That works. So I want to thank you all for this opportunity again. Um, excuse me. Can you, just, just can, you hear can you hear me? Okay. Does this go? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can you identify yourself? We're on the record here. Sure. Darlene Young. Do I need to give an address or something? Yeah, where you live? You live, are you? 100 San Vincenzo place. Are you, is that adjacent or near these property in question? Yes, so um, okay. I ahead. live in the condos right above uh, the property. Okay. And um, the residents that are in that area can hear those trucks. So that property impacts our community um, every day, okay. Monday through Friday. Um, so one of the concerns is going to be in a person when he gets on the phone um, is that while uh, the lawyer is saying that, you know, he's tried to clean up the property, there's still concerns and issues that are going on as evidenced by some of those photos, photos that specifically that he has shared with you. Um, you know, I, I, and as Mr. Clutton stated, um, this may or may not become a life industrial or bone fund industrial practice. Um, I, I, I think that, and I have to be honest about this, I'm not sure that this may not have been a good day. Um, we need to do a little bit more because this is a residential area as well as my industry area. And it impacts the community. It's not coming down the street um, with the noise. And, and I really think that he has to say, um, 
I don't want to take this press, but she doesn't seem to care as much about this whole issue and about the students. Um, and so I think that we really need to do something about this. And as we, when this first came about, I think, gosh, last year, end of last year or so, or the beginning of this year, um, we realized it's been going on, I think, since 2010. And it's 2020. And I think when we first talked at the uh, first meeting, there was some uh, talk about them buying the property. So if you can educate, I think that's the point. Ms. Kern, they've actually purchased that property. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I, I just think there's something to be done about it. And Mr. Stewart will have a lot more to say because he's he, um, the noise and traffic of the down South Main Street and it is has to the community and it's really wants to have to tell that. And I just think the size of this they have business is incompatible with the uh, and I think some and I know for education that this education is, is with imposing a fine for a paragraph, but I think that he has displayed his real his feelings about the whole process and continues to, to, to work in violation of something um, of what he's supposed to do. And I think a fine should be imposed on um, Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, Ernie is right there. Um, we could try him. I, I also sent him an email if he wanted to call in and do the same. Okay, thing. that's probably. I can give it a shot here. Yeah, uh, try that first. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, he's not on. Is yeah, he on? might be. Yeah, it could be him right there. It's his name, Ernie. There you go, Ernie. 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 Same, that using same issue, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you hear same me? Um, try to just tr for yeah. humor, try uh -huh. the other input from the audio. This one? Yeah, I don't know which one it was. I, I think that's the right one on the bottom. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? And he's talking, in, you know, unfortunately. Can't hear him. Try the middle one. Why not? I'm not here. I'm unmuted. there. No. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, you can see he's talking on there, right? I guess I'll have to call in as well. Uh, you may have to do that. When I call 854 Boy, you can see us on the all right. Um, you want to give him the phone number? Uh, yeah, I emailed it to him. So oh. hopefully, I don't know if he can see his email while he's doing what he's doing. That's do I just tell him? Because he can hear us, right? Ernie, if you can hear us, uh, unfortunately, we're having audio problems. So I did email you. The number you can call, which is the conference number in this room. So if you want to um, try that number, then we can pop you right up onto this, and then you can. Unfortunately, got to repeat what you said, but at least we'll get the get it on the record. Just yeah. tell them the numbers. We can hear you. Yeah, talk. just tell them. Eight five four. Yep. It's, so it's eight five four seven two nine eight. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. anticipating he's going to ring in a he's second. He's probably going to ring in any second. Hey, there he is. Is this Ernie? Yeah. Hi, it's, we're, thank hey, you. Hey, Ernie, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you guys didn't want to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You're on. Okay. Um, I just had... Uh, Ernie, Ernie, can you about. tell us who you are? You, for the record. Okay. My name is Ernie Dumas. Compton and Ernie Dumas. Okay. And where do you live? And I live at 162 South Main Street, Norwalk, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And um, on the, can I go ahead and talk now? No, you can go. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, on last Thursday, um, I noticed that there was a dump truck in the interest of dumping some large stones up in that lot. And the gentleman that's the owner was sitting in his truck. He was there with his truck. Uh, prior to that, um, 
he allowed uh, some construction companies to park uh, dump trucks in there. And this was a several couple of weeks ago. And then last Saturday, I think it was last Saturday or Saturday before that, there was like six or seven dump trucks parked in there. And then along the roadside of the uh, railroad there, there's quite a bit of uh, cobblestone and they keep adding to it. It's going all the way down and, and down the road. I have pictures of it uh, and everything that I've taken pictures. And then uh, he did take some stuff out, but he moved uh, some uh, trucking, the trucks back in. Which there was a part of a tractor and trailer stuff, was the, the nose part of it was there, the, the bobtail. And there was the, another, I don't know if it was a, a boom truck or some type of lift that was there, and a couple of cars and some other things that was in the yard because he had taken a lot of stuff out and he moved it back in. Okay, anything else? Ernie, you hear me? Yes, I hear oh, you. Oh, there you go. Do you have anything else you want to say? Yes, I, I just wanted to say because of uh, is, uh, the, where we live, that noise that he keeps up when they come out early in the morning, dumping those stones, that's disturbing to the people that are next door and everything. Um, and then cranking up those vehicles early in the morning. Uh, he does have some type of equipment, a bot, uh, I don't know, the bot, or whatever it is that he was using early in the morning, uh, right or uh, real early in the morning when they go up to that yard and they go right up that up South Main Street. Okay. Then there was uh, where he got uh, when he unloads the heavy stuff, he drops the low boy in the middle of the street and unloads that from the middle of the street to take the equipment and stuff. So I don't know if he was allowing some other people to park there during why this was supposed to be shut down or not. I don't know. Okay, thank you. John, you have any questions for him? Uh, no, thank you. You, yeah, John? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no, I never got two John's, yeah. No. Anybody have any questions for him? No, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ernie. Thanks, Ernie. Go ahead. Any Ernie, witnesses? Any more witnesses? We're, no all, more. we're all set. Anybody else? Okay, so okay. so here's where we are. And Do we want to be back on the camera? Or? I think we're still. I think we're still we're on the little oh, yeah. top there. Yeah. yeah, we're doing great. Here, where's oh, this? Is your? Oh, that's yeah. That, here you go. This is. No, I'm looking for your recommendation. Oh. Okay, so the last time I was going to find total $2,000. Uh, and I continued to March 18th, and I said if it's still in violation, an additional $5,000 could be assessed, which I'm going to do. Because clearly you're still in violation, and I, it was. Six, six months ago, so although there was a COVID crisis, this was February, it should have been cleared up by February. Now, I still have an ongoing violation, and I don't see that there's any reason you can't cure it. So I'm not going to do an additional fine to the 5000 because this is what I told you I'd do. But I'm going to start another fine period. Just so you understand, you could be fined right now up to $40,000. Um, but I'm going to just install a new fine of $5,000 a month. I think that's, that should be sufficient to get that cleaned up within the month. But if you want to pay $5,000 to keep a truck there and some stones, you go right ahead. Uh, that's the decision. Um, when does the when does the five thousand a month start? So do we have a month to get stuff out? A month to get it out. Okay. So yes, you got you got another five thousand. You're up to seven thousand now. It'll be another five thousand in one month. Okay. It's empty in a month. To find what happened. Good question. I didn't mean to not make that clear. Okay. 
Okay. And just so everybody is aware, we do not have uh, anything scheduled for hearings potentially uh, beyond the. Just get a quick look at the date here. Uh, anything beyond the 16th. Um, if the hearing officer wants to do me anything. I'm sorry, I can't hear myself right. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to, I know you're going to get to the date sooner or later. That's why I want well, to. Well, fine. Until sure, I got you. That's fine. Fine. Uh, what is it? Sure. Violation. Each month, whether or not a hearing is held. So if it's two months to a hearing, it's a violation of only $10,000. If you clear it, whenever you clear it, call John. Hmm? It's within the month, it's cleared, no problem. It's it's uh, after a month, that 5,000 in another month will start. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. All right, next hearing. <laughs> there you go. Now it's right. Okay, Thank so you. we don't have anything oh, scheduled. Darlene wants a question? Oh, I was just saying thank you. You can't see that on the phone. Not on the phone anymore. Can you sign, Darlene? Can you sign? Thank you. Call back? No, thank you. You're good? Okay. You're good? Okay. Yes. Good. Thank, oh, I should do that. That's okay, what so it is. Next hearing is we have tentatively scheduled for the 16th. So we don't have anything past that. Um, if the hearing officer would like to do me any favor, I am not in the office on the 18th or the 21st. So the 16th of September. Correct. That's the next, that's the farthest out meeting we have. We have them every Wednesday until then. Uh, that's not quite a month from oh, today. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, let me, let me get this straight. Sure. Because I'm doing, we have a hearing today. Yep. Now we got one one week from today, another one? Yep, and another one on the ninth. Hold on, let me get it in my calendar. Sure, no. The most of how If I don't yeah. show up. It's every Wednesday. <laughs> 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 okay, and then another one a week after that, which is the 16th. Or the 9th. Right, I went to the Depending ninth. on where we are, right? Correct. Right. Okay, ninth. Now we're going to go to the sixteenth. Right. Okay. If it's the case where it's assuming it's rectified, we could probably put it on oh, just yeah, to, just to, just to update it. Right. So we don't have to come come back and. Okay, yeah. so you will put your one for the sixteenth. Is that what you want, John? Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I'm going to be here. Next hearing is nine sixteen. Okay, and you have oral notice. Yes. Okay. All right, that's that's all. That's all. Right. Thank you, Attorney Hall. I mean, keep that if you want. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so what I'm going to do? I got a protocol, so I'm going to escort you out. But before I do that, if you don't mind hanging around for one second, I know we beat you up pretty good here, but. Uh, I gotta call our next, sure. our next client. We'll get them in here. Stay in here, you want me? To yep. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. Apparently, like I think somebody's still on. It might be Ernie. I don't know what that is. I hate to do this, but there we go. I do it all the time. Yeah, I hate to do it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have nine two zero oh, three. Three. Six. Hello. Hi, Marcella. This is John, Norwalk P and Z. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm telling you, we got we got a lot of bugs. We had to work out with the first one. So uh, yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. So. My daughter drove me, so we're just sitting out there doing some paperwork. Oh, cool! Whatever. Enjoying the whole weather, I hope. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. So I am going to escort our first uh, our first victim out, and then you can come on in. 
and I'll, you'll see me at the door. I'll, okay, I'll just come out now. So. Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely see me. Okay, good. Thanks, John. And make sure you have your mask on. Yep, I've got one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, John. Hey, over the, you got any special talents? Yeah, yeah. Sing and dance, man. Uh, hello. <laughs> Oh, you're not waving at me. <laughs> Here's what I look like. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have to keep the mask on. I know. Yes, come in. It's good luck. Hold on. Thank you. Yes, secret knock. I locked myself out. Oh, uh, she's just here, but she's not at the door. It's probably a different door. I know, right? I mean, there's a door to be. I, know, I, I, I didn't. Look, I noticed. I'm sure you noticed that sign. It's pretty uh, yeah, it's, specific. It's, it's same same sort of thing. Wait a minute. Um. A Don, container. Oh, so where are you? The, Door number eight. Uh, where are you? We, we came by eight. There's 19 and 20. Yeah, 18 is kind of stuck between the two. Uh, there's a little walkway from there's the. There's a placement of more than one uh, shipping you, container. You're looking at the. Within a okay. residential. You're looking at that, it's on your right. Without a permit. All the way on your right. I mean, I'm not out there right now. I had to come back into the conference. Yeah, I mean, Got these all over the place. Yes. And I think on Taylor Avenue. I'll come right back out. Okay, thanks. Tractor Thank yard you. on Taylor Avenue. 68 Taylor Avenue. Those are the next two. I'm, I'm going to listen to those. It's on the agenda. Yeah. All right. And, um, and then, oh, wait a minute. I didn't see part two. There's Fitch Street, creation of a four family. Oh, this is so small. Residence on a property only permitted for a single family. And then Eadley Arid is. Yep. And then a storage of commercial vehicles over a ton rated capacity on Eadley Avenue. People just doing stuff. I know that guy's going to be mad. Okay. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. Hey, so you're on this end. Yeah, we got to keep some distance. So any of the blue chairs here. Oh, okay. So here, wait a minute. Before. Yeah. Here, I talked about my father, his pictures, whatever. Here's a picture of him painting. Oh, look at that. 
So I purchased each a picture. They're copies. Oh, cool. Thank you. It does all kinds of stuff. What are you driving us? Okay. Oh, nice. I said that, but I don't think I should pay before I give it to them. Right. This was in Sono Art Festival. Uh -huh. He won a prize in the first one with the picture. Wow. So it doesn't matter if you want it, the frame, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll let him pick which one he wants. I'll pick the other one. Right. Yeah, so here he is. This is one of the other ones. He used to paint on location. Oh, yeah. My mother used to do that. Did she? Yeah. She wasn't very good, though. Well, he's not great, really. <laughs> and she liked doing it. Yeah, that's all that that's fair. Yeah, that works. That's great. Right. Thank you very much. Sure. So. Okay. Oh, sure. oh, I'm so happy this is. Yeah, this, we have to clean up from our last month. Yep. Well, we didn't quite. Yeah, I mean, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Uh, if you want to use some hand sanitizers, right there for you. Uh, actually, Marcella, you can hold on to the checkbook. Um, I'll call you. Is there a particular time to call you that's good tomorrow? I, you know what? I'm taking tomorrow off. Okay. Because it needs trades. Yeah. So anytime. Okay, I'll give you a call because we do, we do, we do credit card now. Okay. We don't do the charge anymore. Okay. So we'll do the 21st century or how we all look at it. Okay. Okay, let's get it back on the record here. All right, back on the record. This is 279 Newtown. Correct. This one more than one shipping container. So, oh, this went on for a long time. Oh, yeah. That's gone for a little Does bit. Did you get it empty? Oh, yeah. No, it's empty. It's a long time. It's gone. This was February. Oh, it's gone since February. Yep. So, it was going to be on the March hearing, but then the March hearing got handled. So, why do so, we need her here? Well, we did assess that you're right here. Okay. Uh, where is the right one? That's where I'm going to ask So, we did assess a $175 non revocable fine. Okay. At some point, I want to say it was like January or something like that. December 18th. There you go. Five out of five. Okay. So if you do not wish to fine any more, then that would be your decision. Is that it was December and this was out in February? It was definitely out in February. March was the hearing date. Yeah, and then that got me. Okay. So okay. that's it. Thank so, you. So we all do, oh, we you were really tolerant, thank you. I mean, I just, I needed to go through that stuff. It pushed me along with the process. It just I took wish somebody time. would push me along. I got stuff I got to get to. Uh, I got, if they would find me, I'd probably do it. <laughs> I just, I spoke to John. I had two enormous trees fall down yesterday during that little storm in my yard, in my driveway, on my two cars. So I'm kind of making a decision based on all this baloney. That I, I need to move. I need to just, it's, you know, me, my, my one daughter's moving out, the other one's staying. I need to just get a condo, rent something little that I have to worry about uptake. I, so all of this. You just have to worry about the condo board. Yeah, the condo board. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, the condo board. that's what makes me a little nervous. Yeah. Right, that, that's why I don't do it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> because I can say that you have to do things, right? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, you have to build the porch if everybody's yeah, running the maybe they, I mean, you have rights, but, but kind of what you don't have the same rights you do when, you, when, when you're your own pass. board and you're your own vote. And if they decide we're going to put on a new roof over the whole thing, you get a, you know, you don't get pay. done, but you're paying for it. So you just, that's what I don't like. The upkeep is the same thing as if you had a house, but at least you get to decide if you want to put a new roof on or what color right. you want to paint it. And, and like they take care of all that. They take care so of that. I like that. You have to but... do is have a checkbook. And you yeah, okay, which yeah, you see sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to park where you're supposed to park. And yeah. Just... When, when I first was married, we had a condo in the north end of Bridgeport for like two and a half years. And, you know, it was, it was okay. Yeah. But some of them are great. It's just it's usually the boards that cause the problems yeah. people who want to assert their power. Also, the more expensive a condo is, the more restrictions, but usually it's easier to deal with. Let me ask another question, yeah. kind of off this topic. Yeah, we're off the record here. Yes. Yeah. So well, we're still recording. Well, but we're off the record. Off the record, as long as you're saying that. Yeah. So these trees that fell onto my property yeah. are in wetlands. Mm -hmm. So there's a development they put in some years back that I guess they own their homes, but collectively they own that wetland. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to get permission or whatever from them for anything. I got permission years ago to put leaves in it because mm -hmm. it was wetlands. 
So now I'm going to have to go to them because my insurance will only cover if there was damage to like something on the property. You're getting into asking the illegal question. Yeah, yeah. No. I already called. Yeah, no. Okay, I already yeah, called my yeah. lawyer. I'm just waiting for him to call back. Yeah, as a lead, yeah. So I can't sit here and give you legal advice. Yeah. Um. Okay. If you want to hire me outside of that, that's different. But right. Okay. Oh, okay. Give him an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm sitting as his own. Yeah, that's fine. And give legal advice to people. Yeah. That's fine. My, and, uh, and Chuck Fiore is my lawyer. He's fine. So it's great. It just hasn't called me back yet. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. There, so here's what we we need to do. We just need this filled out, and basically assessing that we'll find, and then um, it's not, it's almost. I don't know why that one came out double sided. Uh, maybe that's my like handbook being a little environmentally friendly here. Water relation cured in February. No further fine. Total fine is one hundred seventy-five dollars. Yep. And then I'll, I'll call you tomorrow at some point. I guess when it's back to me in the morning, probably okay. in the afternoon, I'll give you a buzz. All right. And then I'll say yep. dismiss what I said. If I will, you say closed, and uh, and that's it. You're done. Please. Perfect. Uh, or some of you are all set. Do you any copy or no? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll send it. We send it. And, okay. Thank yep. you. You guys were great. Thank you, Marcel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Marcel, appreciate it. I Thank appreciate you. it. And I'll be in touch with you in case Absolutely. there's anything. Absolutely. If you, you, need you need were any, helpful today with your phone free, number. Give me, feel free to give me a buzz if you need anything. Okay. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for the photo. I'll put a picture. Thank you. Yeah, that's okay. I got to come out to hang out. Not mind just hanging out for one second. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I got to do my next. Next one here, I got a call, and so I got to bring everybody out at once, and it's quite the process. Yeah, it's We're really getting back on schedule real quick. Yeah, that, that was yeah. good. Seven, nine, seven, two, two, seven, three, zero. See if Peter picks up. He was supposed to go on, man. Actually, he's not that late. That's good. Hello? Hi, Peter. This is John, Noah Planning and Zoning. How are you? Hi, John. I'm well, thanks. Good. Um, I just want to make sure, are you by door number 18 by any chance? 18? Yep. Uh, if you're by the, are you near a loading dock at all? Uh, no hand cards. I'll deliver to the loading dock. No, I'm near the loading dock. Yeah, go around towards the loading dock and you'll see me. Okay, great. All right, thank you, Peter. Bye. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. you missed one? You missed one. Wow, that's good. Because she was had it cleaned up in February. She just yeah. hasn't been able to get back to yeah. I think I know what the issue is. I'm not sure. But I think I know the issue. The next is 66 and 68 terrorists. It's the same guy for both, right? Yes, yeah. Everyone is still hanging around. He's still here. Ah. Yeah. I can't hear you anymore. I, I lean a boring line. Yes, I lean larger digs out of here. So, yeah. so, you guys have a seat in any of those blue chairs here? Yeah. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. We got one outside. Okay. It, it's totally up to you. You can stay here. That's fine. Just got to kind of target yourself for that. Pretty good? Over and out. You're fine. You're fine. Sure. I'm in my own. I will. Yeah, I think I have a. You know, I forgot something today here. Well. 
Okay, we're back on the record here. Let me see. Avenue. Yep. Sixty-six, one fifty-eight. Okay. Sure. We have a picture. Yeah, right back to where I was last time. Yeah, I'm not sure if we got a. Uh, I don't know. So we have here so basically the 66. So the 66. Basically, we have two properties. We have Taylor Avenue is here, Morton Avenue, 68. You can probably put it up on the screen too. Yeah, There we go. All right. There. So what we have is two properties. Or who am I? Oh, yeah. These are. Uh, Good. Uh, Peter Sasso, I'm the owner, and Jackie is an assistant of mine. Yeah. Okay. And here we have just a, again, matter of uh, housekeeping to get out of the way. There's today's hearing notice, and Peter's not going to be here. They, they have proper notice. <laughs> um, so, basically, what this is, we have two properties, two. Uh, three family houses right here on our uh, current our records. And this uh, property here, number 68, runs all the way back to Avenue A. Right. And then 66 kind of runs almost all the way back. Did you do a stress screen, Joe? Uh, thank you for reminding me. I probably didn't. Yes. Oh, okay. Ooh. There you go. Okay. Um, so, so those are two properties in question. The issue that we have, and if I may, I'll use a little, little guy right here just to get a little bit of a street view. There we go. So this is number 66. So this- okay, which, which way, where am I looking? You are looking, um, and this is on Morton Street. Is that, right, okay. So basically on this property, there, we have the operation of a, um, contractor's storage yard or contractor's business within the AP residential zone. And I will share a photo from uh, August 10th. So you got two trucks there, and here's another one from July 16th. So I will do that. There you go. I was gonna, I did have one of them here, but that turns out that's a little blurry. Yeah. This is not that. This is just another picture. It's another picture of, yeah, that's the, oh wait, let me, did I put the wrong one on there? Maybe the wrong one. Uh, yes, that's it. This is on the side. So okay. this would be, Right. Basically on the side of the garage. Okay. Is this another day? I guess this is just two different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that might be two different days. Okay. Yeah, right. there. Okay. Want well, to make sure they're the right properties. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, and basically for that one, that's so that's the long and short of it is that this is a um, a residential zone which cannot have a commercial um, contractor business there. Uh, the other property, if I may go around, stay with this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to 
Um, no. Okay. And so that's the, <laughs> that's the long and short for that property. Okay. For this one, so now we'll go to, uh, I'm just curious. Sure. We can get in here. Right. And you can enter here. Oh, that, I will say, yeah, there is a bit of a, yeah, there's a little, little entry right there. there. Yeah. It's easy to drop um, so okay. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go around the corner to uh, 68. And this one was right. so a little bit older, I guess. Yeah, 2012. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's an old photo. So um, there's the house. You can see where the house is. That's on Taylor. That's up here. Yep. And then that's going back to as a through to uh, Avenue A. And here's the. Okay, so what? The house is fine. It's the house is fine. It's the area in the back. Uh, so there was the same um, issue there. However, since the uh, since. Last time we met, which was back in uh, January, on this one, uh, the <laughs> materials and the vehicles have been removed uh, from the rear part of the property. The only thing that is left, that was left, was a parking area, parking on setback. But most recent photos show that it has been, been restricted. Uh, and also with like being prepped for uh planning. It's not there yet. It's yeah, it's just not there yet. Yeah, which are not in violation. Well they're violate the technically speaking until the landscaping is there, it is violation it is a violation. That's the <laughs> matter of law. Um and but the contractors uh, materials and operations are not there. In other words, they've done all they can do. We can't make the plants grow any faster. Well, we, you're right. Yes, that's uh, that's true. Okay. So, but and so that's where we are. Uh, we're just looking for, um, you know, we want to make sure that the uh, business and the store, at least the storage of contractors, materials, and vehicles on 66 um, right. ceases. Let me start with 68. 68. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see where do I stand. 68. Innovation here, no fines. Well, to remain open for monitoring, continue to play every twenty. Okay. So this is a slope from here. Well, we still would like to just, just keep it open to, to, to watch the, the make sure. That's the bridge. Sure. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right, give me a four now. Sure. Okay. That's this one right. Yeah. And this is three baby. Continue this for how long do you continue? Um, maybe two months that would be plenty of time to monitor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we just want to pay for that. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll send a letter to Peter there. Okay, so we don't have to pay. All right, continue okay. two months, need notice. Okay. Okay, very good for that. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And here's the 
letter there. And last time. Sure. Oh. Well, left it open. Left it open and the cure went away. Mm. Disease came back. Sounds like COVID. Right. 66. Okay. Uh, uh, so if we go back and we were we had a cure and then we're waiting for the for the, the follow-up hearing to formally do that it was i think it was you know sort of rescheduled COVID hit mm -hmm. so it was cured through that the contractor moved his uh his, the truck that was there because it was only really a truck uh to another location someone in his family someone in his family ended up having COVID. he ended up moving it back i wanted to i should have probably reached out here thinking that there was going to be another hearing on the idea that that's that this was temporary so the truck is going to be moved but it was a COVID situation going back to that that his brother had in another location that he moved that back here because he didn't want to be subject himself to that so um when was that that was right in the beginning that was like that was right around april okay so we've had a lot of time we've had some time and i was waiting you know so i wanted to explain that i was waiting i didn't know if there was going to be a follow-up meeting when we had correspondence and it was canceled and um, I was not proactive in that. I was thought maybe with COVID, we've also had eviction issues because the evictions have been suspended. So I was more passive than I would have been in a typical situation that I could have reached out. And we're ready to cure to make sure that truck is gone. And and in fact, he had the contractor I mentioned he was just parking there temporarily. He's been the busy, you know, it's really busy. So, but we want to cure it. We were on the path to curing it. Yes, COVID hit. Sure. As well, we have we, to, we we're waiting for this meeting. We already talked to him ahead yeah, of this meeting because we just didn't know what the outcome would be. Sorry, you're both Sorry. Go ahead, Jack. Yeah, no, we already talked to him and he said that he's he's already actually have a place for the truck. But we also had a lot of trees that fell during the um that storm. And um so he retrieved some of the trucks and they were like working also with us in in the properties that he owned so that's why he was also parking the trucks there for you know like for these past like two or three weeks but not really like leaving the trucks overnight he was actually at this point just parking them during the day because we were also working with him he was cutting trees for us in Norwalk in Stanford because we had a lot of that I can even show you pictures if you want I have the pictures of the trees and I'm working on it so, so that's why, and he was just parking there, and um, you know, and his um employees also were kind of parking just for the day, getting the trucks, and then coming back and getting the trucks back, and going back to park where he's already renting another space. It isn't. Yeah. You want to jump in? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> if it's a residential zone. Right. Uh, they shouldn't be coming right. there and meeting and picking up trucks and going and coming. That's the, We're moving the trucks out. The property I know, but he shouldn't have employees yeah. meeting there under any circumstances. Yeah. Right. And if, if if somebody had COVID in March, say they were better in April, we got May, June, July, and almost all of August now. Right. And that's that's why I wanted. To, that's why I have these photos because this, you know, this is July. Yeah. And there's and We're, there's equipment in the truck there. Which you know, whether there's a reason, there could be a reason for it. That's fine, but at the end of the day, it's a residential zone. We're we're, we're, we're in agreement. We're going to move yeah. the truck. So right. I mean, we were on that path to doing that. COVID hit, and we were passive around everything happening with our tenant. You know, well, listen, we were. I've been you know trying to work with all the different tenants, a lot of different issues. So admittedly, we've been more passive than forceful during this issue, but we're ready to move. I was ready to explain that to the to the committee. I'm ready to move forward. I still haven't had my question answered. When? When is it going to be done? Well, we we, we talked to him, soon. and like I said, he is already renting a place someplace else. So, so we can do it in a week. It's gone. A week, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to do a week. 
Yeah, no, this week, by the end of the week. Okay. All right, so not happy right. with the COVID excuse. And it is an excuse, but this is wrong now. You know you sure. should have been doing this. Sure. Okay. So just for that purpose, I'm going to give you a $500 fine. That's, that's, I just want to, you know, we were doing this, by the way, for all, all tenants. We were, we were taking the hands off because it's been difficult for everybody. You did, and I'm not, so. you know, it could be 150 hours a day at once. Right. You're sending a message. Yeah, was, uh, I put right. a maximum where it could be on that. Oh, maximum. Legally could be. $28,500 I can find. I'm knocking it down by 28,000. So um, I want to send a message here. In addition, I'm going to give you two weeks to get it cleared up. And if not, it's going to be $500. It'll be $1,000 in two weeks. It's gone and you won't have it. And then it's going to be $150 a day thereafter. Okay. Okay, so just let's get it done. Yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah, that right there. Violation in turn for COVID mercy being shown by human numbers. Five hundred dollar fine, two weeks secure, another thousand dollars plus hundred and fifty dollars a day thereafter. Do you want to continue, Dave? Um, in the two weeks, two weeks that was we can stop. Oh, yeah. Two weeks to uh, that is the ninth of the week. Yeah, so seventy nine. Nine nine. We're all notice. We're gonna be notice now. And if it's cured, you probably don't need to come back. If, you get, if it's cured, contact John. Come oh, out and check it. And, uh, and just all the five So in so two one. weeks, I call you and just tell you confirm it's cured. Right. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Or even better, then we'll yeah, just, okay, and then I can collect the $500 and you don't need to come back here. I'll do that over the phone. Okay. Or sure. however you want to do it. Sure, I'll do that on the phone. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So we are all set with you. Which one's set? Let's start with it. So let me, uh, if you don't mind hanging on for one second, uh, I got to show everybody out here. I'm going to call my next, uh, sure. okay. next uh, case and we'll all go out together. Oh, you can? All right, thank you. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Peter. Hi, John. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Good, thank you, John. Uh, yeah, we're out here. Don't be our outside. Oh, you got to go to no, door number 18. It's by the uh, loading dock. Not by the front door. The security guard won't will get mad. Okay, so we're gonna look uh the 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 so when you're facing the front of the building, yeah, the if loading you're facing, dock is on the right. Loading dock, you go towards the right. There's a little uh handicap accessible parking area, and you should see us open the door there. It's okay. near. It's across okay. the. It's a, yeah, it's a, we'll enter that door and then go to the Well, I'm gonna meet you there. Okay, got it. Okay, we'll be there in like 15 minutes. You got it. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Problem is that uh, the mom. Okay. All right. I didn't see anybody out there. Uh, they went to the front. Oh. Okay. I think I think from here on we got to like tell the. Yeah, yeah. Until they change, but they're letting people. Well, we'll figure it out. All right.
So you guys are going to sit in the, any of the blue chairs here. So. Uh, got it. Yes, let's do it. Let's go. 15th Street. Yeah. Yeah. Your people are. Uh, well, the owner, she's 80 years old and she wasn't feeling well. So uh, we're the daughters. Okay. Just need your first name. Oh, so for the record. Debbie Papas, Sophia Sahnas. Sophia, how do you spell your last name? S A H N A S. Okay. All right. So, as a matter of housekeeping. Oh uh, yes, your mother was here, and and speaks Greek and English. Yeah. Yeah. So, fair enough. Okay. So here's. I remember. Yep. So this is just today's notice. Yep. Here's the green cards returned, and obviously they're here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so the thing. party can begin. Party can begin. All right. Violation of health no fine. What was the violation? Violation is. is uh, a, 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 oh, a yeah, we got a problem. Yeah, uh, basically, more than a single family residence and accessory apartment. Uh, so these are, this, I'll keep it real easy. There was a permit issued in 2005 for the same thing, and over time, the some of what was there prior to cause the violation here came back. So we are just looking for um, get that resolved, get it back to what it was in the permit in 2005. The permit had uh, stairs, right? Correct, yes. And I did realize that when I gave it to my, my plans out there, that's why I, I looked at this here, um, that the stairs do need to be there. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, they, there is for new staircase and you see the, the architect notes. Um, so I crossed it out on there or actually my chief officer did, um, but clearly on the uh, plan, it says for new stairwell. Who, who crossed this out? I didn't cross that. I took, that to me, I circled it. I oh, you circled it. Yeah, oh, that's like an asterisk. Okay. Yeah, asterisk. So, so say, here's what. Here's what is different than what is. What, why do you need stairs? So it's a, the first, it's, you know, two floors. I mean, I understand that they wanted stairs, but it wasn't convenient for, uh, you know, she's 80 years old to have stairs into her, the main level. I mean, we can redraw draw the plans. You saw the house, right? right. Well, John, after this, also after state uh, of the plans there was a court case and we can't i know i i might have uh, hired alice mcquade she doesn't do zoning anymore there was a court case where they brought the the plans were were drawn like the house is currently and the house got approved now you know what happened to that approval? I, I that, that's uh, I that, don't know what happened. That's going to be the, the tough part because I did. I think we we did discuss that. Yeah. Uh, and I, I talked to our our council to see if they had any any way that they did a search, and they came up with they they didn't 
find any. They had no file. They, they had nothing in regards to court cases no, or anything. For that, for 15 Fitch or any. Uh, yeah, I remember. Um, the last do you remember day. that meeting in the Stanford courthouse? Yeah, Stanford. Yeah, it was in Stanford. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, the, I called over Alice and I, she said, I, can't, I don't have those records from hmm. back then. And I don't even do that work, she says. Um, I mean, that's the. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, I'm not. I was trying to make it as easy on everybody as possible. It's just that this, you know, I go on what is, and this is me being a very legal guy, is that it, it, I have to go on the last approved plans that I have seen. Um, you know, I do my diligence before I send anything because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste anybody else's time. Uh, so you know, this, is the, this is the last that I have. If, if something were to come up, find something different I, i'd have to go with it because it, that's newer i'd have to go with that yeah because um, it, because it's 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 more than like uh, it's it's a lot it's like 15 years ago it is yeah. okay, so, okay let me let me add in a few things Simela does not want to do the stairs is there like some other option she has i think that's her major well yeah she doesn't want the, the stairs. stairs why does she have to have stairs i don't understand well, that it would be because the mm -hmm. sure yes yeah. okay this didn't have to be done here. Well, why don't you come in and meet in the class? Well, we could. Well, after the. All right, so we came in, we were working through it, and yeah. then we actually, I think we had an appointment for like the third week of March. Okay. And then that. Well, that's it's. it's uh, why yeah, are we bringing them into a hearing when they can't continue on with their discussion? Shouldn't we be doing that first? Well, it was just, we, we're bringing all matters that were all right. on for that March hearing. You, we can. Okay, so the, well, the discussion right. here should be about the violation, not how to cure it, right? I mean, right, I mean, that's what you're, yeah, exactly. No, you're right. This is uh, The violation is the stairs? It's the fact that there's, because the units aren't, but are not integral, so meaning the first floor isn't, the first floor space isn't integral with the first, with the second floor, that's a violation that creates a separate habitable living space that is separate from the rest of the house because it, it's inaccessible. So you have now, you have the main house, the accessory apartment, and then you have a separate space. Well, the only thing, thing we can do is, saying is, is, is each, you're saying each room in the house has to be I'm connected sorry, to each other. I did that. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we continue this? Two weeks or something, you guys can talk this over. I think that's a good idea. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. And we'll have an approach to how we're going to go forward. Two weeks is yeah. going to make a big difference for the rest of the months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that right. right, everybody? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so John, you you want to talk about? Um, we can do like you want to do like a virtual, well, like, here, like face. Well, let me ask me so oh, attorney yeah. overs can put in a put in the record. Um, we may be in the near future allowing for appointments mm -hmm. to come in. Okay. But we will probably not know that for about a week or so. So if you want to give this, and I'm, I can imagine for three weeks, so that this way, if that happens, you got I can we can arrange an appointment. They can come in. We can actually sit like this or mm -hmm. out in another. Uh, one of our other conference tables and actually yeah. go over everything. Sure, that would be. Um, I mean, you can always email me like right. you've done in the past. Right, and if if that doesn't, then we'll go back to emailing and see what we can do from there. But if we can get in, I think that's a lot easier than going back and forth with the email or phone. Understood, John. Um, and in our next meeting, we can also um, you know discuss. Uh, I don't know if we should just bring an architect with us in our so. next meeting yeah. to discuss how we can integrate that. That would be fine. Yeah. The least amount of well, we, uh, this one, I think, um, what was his name? Um, and Andropoulos. I call him up and he's um, he's not available. They're so behind because of the COVID and all that. He's not available to take on the, the work. But it, the it, like I said, we'll, we'll work with. I got I got Debbie's email. Mm -hmm. I think I have yours now as well. Yeah. So we'll work with that. We'll um you know we'll see if we can get you in here. That'd be great. If not, we'll work it the same way that we've uh, that we've done. We'll, sure. we'll have something we'll have a plan uh going forward so attorney Ulbricht can uh 
Yeah, you, you, you know, really with the pandemic, everything was shut down for two months. So now the architects are like, I can't take your work. I got backlog. So, yeah, that's the problems we run into, mm -hmm. definitely. So, that's for like everyone, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Us. Not the first COVID. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, that was for the yeah. first COVID. That was cool. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's the truth, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, everybody's. Well, uh, I, I heard, I heard the courts are still shut down. I mean, like uh, Stanford Court and everything. Yeah, they're very extremely limited. They, they still have some. They're doing something, but they're very, very um, limited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. Uh, uh, so we'll wait for your email. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll so give you a date. Oh, okay. That would be the Sorry. What's the day? Sixteen. Twenty sixth. Sixteen. No, no. When we go to today's the twenty to nine. Oh, 16. Uh, September 16th. September 16th. You give me, I'm giving you notice that you're coming back on September 16th. Okay. I'll see you then. Uh, same time, uh, 420? Uh, it might be. I'll get, I'll definitely oh, let you know. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Um, This is another file I'm working on. I wonder what happens here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Found it. Yeah. Okay, ladies. We are. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Right, here, I'll leave you out. All right. And I think that's Have a good time. afternoon. Okay. Yep. Have a good day. Yeah. Just. Yep. Good. Hope you're just doing all that before you kicking them out. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That, that's it? Yeah, the last one was, uh, it was in hand. It was not in hand delivery. It was left at the Right. So um, right. we can knock down. And actually, um, that might get, <laughs> that actually get resolved. So, um, so we'd be good with, with that. Um, so you assume this hit end meeting? Yes. Um, yeah, unless there's a recording button at the top, which. And yes, the